teach you a bastard! Today we're going to be learning how to spell Booba in different languages all across the world. Actually, we're going to be only speaking about the languages that matter, aka shit. The only language that matters. We're going to be learning how to say milk and boobas in Slavic. Bitch. And our first word of today. This pen sucks. We gotta write in big red for the Soviets. Now I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are familiar with the term booba. It gives us life, it gives us the spice that we go for to us uh, real men out there. You know what I'm talking about. But what if you want to ask for booba from a woman who you just got in a mailbox by ordering them online? Well, in that case, your answer could either be... Well, in that case, you could either ask for booba by saying Xionghu. What the fuck is that? You could either ask for booba by saying Xionghu. I don't know how to write. Or you could ask for some siski. No, this is how you write that. Shit, how do you write that? This is s e s. Don't worry about this shit. K e siski. Now this means booba or boobs. We connoisseurs, um, titties, the milk jugs. Now you will see the beauty of Slavic languages as soon as I start writing how to say. Um, boobs in other languages. You see, if I start writing it in um, Slovak, uh, the rough word for boobs is Tsetski, which sounds about exactly the same, means the same thing. It's more like others in this case. Another classic way you could say it in Slovak is Motherfuck Kozi, which literally means goats and it also means boobs. You probably can't see any of this paper that I'm showing you, but I hope you have your fucking brain intact. Goats or boobs? The funny thing is, this carries over from Slovak to Czech, so there's two countries that have goats for boobs, and uh, basically it's a slang word, and it's a very nice word. Um, you know, uh, if you wanna write it like cute, This is like a cute way to say it, which is kozichki. It means like titties, like boobies. And um, I really appreciate it. Then we got the classic. If you want to have some milk, you ask for moloko. This is the classic way. Uh, it's a very general and nice word that I think quite of um, holds together with how it's pronounced in the rest of the world. Now, if you want to do this in uh, Slovak or Czech, you're gonna be asking for mlieko, malo i eko. Just like we here, we have molo oko, moloko, mlieko. You see the small difference in there, but it's kind of the same. Basically, any Slavic language. If I want to write this in Czech, I say. Mleko, if I want to be formal, if I want to be very informal, I'm gonna say Mleko. Do you notice something? Let's see how the Hungarians say this shit. Melik? What are you fucking babies? Boobs? Wait, boobs are Melek? How do you say milk? Day. 